Good morning and welcome to the Daily Share where we pray the word of God and bring it to life in our lives. Nehemiah 4 verses 6 to 9. So we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height for the people worked with all their heart. But when Sanballat, Tobiah and Tobiah the Arab, the Arabs, the Ammonites and the people of Ashdod heard that the repairs to Jerusalem's walls had gone ahead and that the gaps were being closed, they were very angry. They all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and stir up trouble against it. But we prayed to our God and posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. Wow. Um, the more I go through this book of Nehemiah, the more I realize that even though my current theme is on single parent parenting, this book applies to every single one of us. It's not just about single parents. Um, all of us at some point find that we have to rebuild parts of our life because something in some part of our life hasn't gone right. Um, so I hope that as you're listening to me and you think, well, okay, this is for single parents, but this doesn't really apply to me. Um, I hope that you realize that the book in itself, the book of Nehemiah, um, speaks just, it speaks to everyone. I'm starting, I'm, you know, I feel encouraged by the Holy Spirit that this book, the account of the rebuilding of Jerusalem, they didn't have to give it in so much detail. They could have just rebuilt the wall. And they could have just said, um, you know, God, God remembered us and rebuilt the wall. But the, the detail um, in which this is given, remember, remember the children of Israel got into trouble with God so many times. But this is the one book that's dedicated to the rebuilding and restoration of, of the house of Israel um, as a result of the curses that came from God as a result of their idolatry, right? Um, the point being, there's so many, when you look at the detail um, of, of everything that went on in that time of rebuilding, for, for instance, in this, in this um, particular text, just for a start, they worked with all their hearts. It says, we, we rebuilt the wall and it reached half its high. So just as you're starting to get in your stride of rebuilding, um, and you're re you know you're really rebuilding with all your heart, what do your enemies do? They start coming. We need to be careful not to think of our physical enemies when we're thinking of this, because actually, when you think about it, there's no such thing as a physical enemy. They are used by evil spirits, people who give you problems, people who give you trouble, people who give you a hard time. Um, they they can't do anything to you. A, a person, a human being can literally not do anything to you. Definitely not if you're standing with God. Um, they may pose a threat, but even then, not in themselves. Um, they pose a threat of working with the kingdom of darkness against you. So they are the sort of the conduit, the physical vessel used by the kingdom of darkness to come against you. They could be in the form of your boss, could be in the form of your family members, could be in the form of your friends turning against you. But either way, as you're trying to rebuild your life, someone's going to be looking and not liking what you're doing. They're not going to like the fact that, well, what's she doing? What's all this praying and fasting she's all about these days? What's all this reading the Bible? What's all this constant? Why is she even constantly doing all these daily shares? What's that all about? Yeah, it's all about rebuilding your life it's all about rebuilding my life um, and you start to realize that the more you you, you engage in all these positive activities your you you know your life's coming up you're, you're halfway through rebuilding um, remember it's all about rebuilding yourself the physical um, you know the, the um, possessions they naturally follow um, I'm finding or I find the physical possessions naturally follow. The more you seek God, the more you rebuild your life through God and with God, um, the more things work out around you. Your finances start to flow better. You may be going through things and thinking, yes, actually, I did pray and fast, but no, things aren't completely sorted yet. Um, but I bet you can testify that uh, there's a calm, things are a lot calmer now. You're not getting all that drama where you're constantly getting letters to say you haven't paid this, you haven't paid that. Um, you know, you, you, not all that stops completely. You, you, gain, you gain control, you're in control, which then leads me to um, verse 9. So after the, the, your enemies are plotting together um, and they're being angry and, they, and they're plotting together to come and fight against you, these are your spiritual enemies. So even when you've prayed and fasted, you start to realize that um, after a while, maybe three or four months, you start to have those evil dreams again. Um, it's tempting to think, wow, God, I actually thought I'd prayed against this. What's happening again? Why am I dreaming about this again? Um, don't worry. 
um, you know, it's just your enemies wanting to fight the fact that you're rebuilding your life. What you need to do is tighten your boundaries. You need to tighten your security. In verse 9, um, it says, But we prayed to our God and posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. Um, you know, you, you have to be on guard. It may even be, you definitely need to be praying in like relentlessly praying nonstop day and night, speaking the word of God constantly day and night. Yes, you may need to throw in a bit of, um, prayer, sorry, a bit of fasting here and there. You may, because you are in spiritual warfare, you are being contested for trying to rebuild your life. So, you know, you're setting those boundaries, you're setting, setting tighter boundaries, whatever you did in the first place that led to progress, um, you know, that, that led to you starting to see that, okay, now I'm starting to rebuild. Like I said, it may be prayer and fasting. It may be uh, incorporating that and, and also adding um, therapy. It may be whatever you did that worked, that led to progress and led you to rebuild halfway you need to tighten it. You need to do it even harder because clearly now you may have to include tighter security. You need to be on guard even even more, right? Because your your whatever you're doing works. It may mean even things like being on guard over your mouth. The number of times the Holy Spirit has, you know, sort of warned me through different teachers and, and even in my thoughts to say, just be careful what you say because, you know, it's not everybody that you're talking to that's, that's happy to see you make progress. Um, and the, the unfortunate thing is people will smile at you and rejoice with you, but their hearts are not necessarily with you. So you need to be on guard, even watch the people around you. The best way to watch the people around you and so you're not getting paranoid and going around looking, neg you know, the, you know, being negative and being aggressive towards people. The best thing is just, just guard your mouth. Just set security, tighten your security with your mouth. Be careful what you say or, or better still, just don't say anything at all until you're done rebuilding. But you don't stop the rebuilding and don't feel discouraged. And when you feel tired, wait on the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Just when you feel like, oh God, do I have to... Do I, I don't have the strength. I did the long fast. I did. I've been reciting scriptures. I've led this disciplined life for so long. Um, yes, you, you have to carry on in that life. That becomes your lifestyle. And yes, that dropping um, a bit of, of prayer and fasting here and there, that becomes part of your lifestyle as well. You can't stop. You can't stop because your enemies, your spiritual enemies to start with, who are more powerful, who use your human en enemies. So your real source of problems is, the, is in the spirit realm. Though all those evil spirits that you got rid of, um, you know, through prayer and fasting and through, you know, working on yourself to heal yourself and reading the word of God, all that hard work you did, the, the enemy, your enemies, spiritual enemies, they're not happy about that. So, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're meeting together now. They're coming together, tightening their efforts to come against you. So, yeah, for a while there, it may feel like ah, maybe I didn't get delivered after all. No, you did get delivered. Um, but, the, you know, the, your enemies are coming to destroy this progress you're making. They can see that you're, you're halfway through getting fully delivered. You're halfway through entirely and completely fixing your life and you know what happens when you fix your life you become a living testimony to other people the bible says many shall see and fear the lord and put their trust in him the kingdom of darkness don't need you um adding to 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 the to the warfare against them and part of you adding to the warfare against them is your success and your progress and your um, ability to rebuild your life even as a single parent when they've stacked up so much against you um, and when they, when you think, oh, gosh, single parenting is hard, just stay away from that thinking, myself included. Don't think like that. A single parent is as blessed as a couple or as anybody else. If you can just connect with, with God. Remember, with man, this is impossible, but with God, nothing shall be impossible. With man, it's impossible for a single parent to make it and to do good things and to, you know, to work and to uh, build a home successfully, a strong home. But with God, nothing is impossible. If you do this thing with God, if you pray relentlessly, if you pray tirelessly, if you work tirelessly, yes, you have to work hard. If you want to talk to someone, talk to the Holy Spirit. And this is definitely, to me, definitely. Um, because yes, there's a need to talk. And yes, I, I am a chatterbox in myself. But just talk to the Holy Spirit. 
remember god is going to be holding your hand and walking you through this journey so some lessons he will teach you in ways where you think i'm hearing a lot of this message lately ah maybe this is how i need to tighten security yeah you tighten security by tightening your mouth to start with and working hard quietly and your testimony and your um progress and the beauty of the hand of god in your life will be evident you don't have to say a word people will see it it says many shall see and fear the lord and put their trust in him okay thank you for listening god bless you have a lovely day bye bye